Is it recording? Okay. Hey, it's Carly Ray here, and I'm so excited that you guys are on my channel today. Now, a lot of you guys have been messaging me telling me you guys are in like a huge reading slump, and I have been right there with you over like the past year. I have been like picking up a book, and then once I'm done, like I can't get into another one. But I have a secret. I have my top six books where every time like I read it, it pulled me out of my reading slump and I was able to read like five books after that. So I have them right here and we're going to get started and I'm going to reveal my top six books that are going to pull you out of your reading slump. So let's get started. Okay, so the first book that's pulled me out of my reading slump is I'll Be the One. This book was amazing. It is by Lila Lee. I posted this on my website and I was talking to you guys about it, about why I love it. Okay, first of all, I love the cover. And when I picked up this book, like I wasn't expecting to like it so much. Like, you know, how you get a book and you're like, oh yeah, I'll read it. Well, I decided to put this at the top of my list just because as you guys know, when I bookshop, like I gravitate towards the book covers. <laughs> so this one I read first and as soon as I started it, I was on like page 100, like after an hour, like I could not put this book down. I love the writing. It's super like easy to read. And the way Lila Lee wrote it, like you are obsessed with the main character. Her name is Sky, And I love her because she is bold. She is like really strong and she's a protagonist. Like I want to be BFFs with. And I have read this book probably about like four times. Every time like I find myself needing something just to kind of like jumpstart my week. I'll even read like a few chapters but I love this book. So this is definitely my first book pick that is going to pull you out of your reading slump. If you guys like YA, um, YA romance, this was something different for me. And it was something where I was like, eh, I'm not really 100% sure if I'll like it. But K-pop, like this is where it's at in the YA. And I loved reading about Sky and her journey into the K-pop world. And I'm sure you guys will too. So definitely check out I'll Be The One if you're in a reading slump and if you're looking for YA reads. Okay, the second book that got me out of a huge reading slump this past winter is Shiver by Allie Reynolds. Okay, the author is also amazing. Um, I follow her on Instagram and she followed me back, which was awesome. And I love this book. Now, this was a book that I wasn't sure I was going to like as much as I did because I had read like a ton of thrillers and I was like, uh, maybe this is going to be like other thrillers that I read. Okay, no, Shiver is definitely like one of my top, top thriller reads. I need a sequel. Um, it takes place from multiple characters' perspectives, which I found awesome. The twist with the mystery, awesome. Um, but yeah, Shiver is such a brilliant read. It centers around Myla and she is basically reconnecting with old friends. She kind of, you know, is hesitant to go back and it's about like snowboarding. It has a bunch of snow, like as you guys can tell from the cover. But I will say, even if you read this and it's like warmer weather out, you are still gonna feel cold and you're gonna be like, I need to read this again. Um, it wasn't too long of a read. But, and once you get into it, like I found myself, like I could not put this book down. I loved it. It takes place from like present day, as you guys can see. And then we do get flashback chapters, which I loved the flashback chapters. Fun fact is I loved the flashback chapter so much in the book I'm writing. YA fantasy, totally different genre, but it made me want to have some like different flashbacks for my characters because you get to see the characters in an all new way. So I loved that part about Shiver. So definitely you guys are looking for thrillers. Um, this book put it at the top of your list. Now I will say even if you don't read thrillers, you're going to love this book. So this book is my second book to pull you out of your reading slump. Third book that I recommend to pull you out of your reading slump, I will say this book sat on my shelf for like a good month before I picked it up and I just randomly decided to pick this book up because I was like, okay, like I don't know what else to read or what else to do, but it is Chain of Gold by Cassandra Clare. Okay, this book has to be probably my favorite book from her. Um, now, look how long this book is. Okay, this was the reason why it's on my shelf for so long because I was like, I don't have time to read this book. Like, it is well over 500 pages. And I have to say, like, this was probably my first book that I read that was more than 500 pages. And it had me, like, it was why I did not pick this book up. But I'm so glad I did because as I started reading it, like, you don't feel like it's 500 pages when you're reading it. Like, you start reading and you're like, okay, I need more. I need to keep reading. And, like, look at, like, the illustrations in this book. 
It was so amazing. I love these characters. It centers around the character of Cordelia in the Shadow Hunter world. We get like this all new view of them and I absolutely adored Cordelia. She is such a strong protagonist in this book and she really like held her own throughout it. Like it was so long and I thought I am going to get tired of this character but I didn't and yeah it's one of my absolute favorite books and I read this I mean it did take me like probably like four days to read it like but I could not put it down like as I kept reading it I had to keep reading more so this is definitely a book I recommend it's YA fantasy and it will pull you out of your reading slump. I know like some people are probably watching this like I cannot read that big of a book. It's not going to pull me out of re my reading slump. But even if you read like the first chapter, you're going to get into it. So I would definitely recommend adding this to your list. Okay, so my fourth pick, I've been in a reading slump recently and I like haven't read a book in like a couple weeks. And I was like, I don't know like what book to read. I tried reading a couple books. And I just couldn't really get into them. Like I did not finish them. Um, one was like a new YA release. And I was like, I just, I can't get into them. So I got this book, Berkeley Publishing sent me The Woman at the Front. And this one is by Lee Lucia Cornwall. And when I read the synopsis, it instantly gripped me. And this is an historical fiction and it takes place um, during World War I, which I found really interesting because I haven't read too many during World War I. They're always World War II. And I just really liked um, reading about Eleanor, how she wants to be a doctor and she wants to be a doctor at the front and they don't allow women doctors at the front, which I did not know. But this book pulled me out of my reading slump. I read it in about two days and it's not, it was about, it was like 400 pages, but um, the way that um, the author wrote this book is it went by really fast. Um, the font did seem a little smaller if you guys can see that. So at first I was like, uh, I'm not gonna be able to get through this. But once you get into it, like I was really into the character of Eleanor and her story and I loved the romance in it. So this is definitely a book I recommend. This got me out of my reading slump recently. So this book, thank you Berkeley Publishing for sending it to me. I definitely recommend this one. All right, now the fifth book that I recommend got me out of my reading slump at the beginning of summer and I am obsessed with this book. It is The Newcomer by Mary Kay Andrews. I read, I like, I have a whole part of my bookshelf for Mary Kay Andrews books and this one is probably my favorite from her. I loved the cover. Now I will say when I got it, it sat on my shelf for like two months. And then I was like, I just didn't know what to read. And I was like, what book should I read? And I just like pulled out this cover and I started reading it. And I was like, how did I not read this sooner? Because I got an early copy. And I was just like in one of those like moods, like where I wasn't into like reading for like a few weeks. And yeah, as soon as I picked up this book, I was like kicking myself for not reading it as soon as I got it. It was amazing. Um, it centers around Letty and her sister Tanya got murdered by, well, you think maybe um, by like the ex-boyfriend. And so she's like on the run with her niece. She goes to Florida, stays in this motel. Okay, fun fact. I also Googled like Florida motels for sale after I read this book because I loved the setting of it and everything about it. So this book pulled me out of my reading slump. I definitely recommend it. Um, it's about like 380 pages but they do go by really fast and like look how big the pages are and the font so like it goes by like really fast and when I was done like I wanted a sequel because I adore this book and I adore Mary Kay Andrews so I definitely recommend this book at the top of your list even if it isn't like summer you can read this year round. My sixth book pick that I recommend reading that is going to definitely pull you out of your reading slump and it's probably going to make you need a box of tissues is Dear Edward by Anne Napolini. Okay, I love this book so much. I also have it in the paperback. Yes, that is how much I love this book. So I can like take the paperback with me when the hard copy will not work. It's not too long of a read and it goes by super fast. This book is like gut wrenching. Okay, um, basically, you know that the plane all of these people are on like all the characters is going to crash and um, there's only one survivor Edward. So like you already know their fate. But reading the book and like what happens before that ill-fated like plane crash is like so gut-wrenching because like I said, you know their fate. So I really did enjoy this book. It's unlike anything I've read. 
and it just stays with me like anytime somebody asks me what my favorite book is like dear edward always comes to mind first just because the author had a way of capturing the emotions of the character like so like such in like a raw way that it always like stays with you and it's something you remember and seriously i have not flown because like this book is going to like be like oh my gosh yeah but yeah, so this is one of my all-time favorite books when anybody asks me, and this will definitely pull you out of your reading slump because it's something different and it's something that you're going to remember. So this is my sixth book pick to pull you out of your reading slump. So these books are guaranteed to pull you out of your reading slump. I cannot wait to hear what you guys think, if you guys have read it, if they've also pulled you out of your reading slump. Um, I just think that like reading different genres is amazing because there's so much different like worlds, but also similarities in different genres. So that's why I tried to pick different books in different genres to give you guys like, you know, a different feel for books you can read. But these definitely helped me out and I think they can help you guys out too. I would love to hear what you guys think of them. Be sure to comment below. Let me know if you guys have read it, your thoughts. If again, they pulled you out of your reading slump, let me know. Stay tuned because I'm going to have all new videos coming your way. You guys can also follow me on Instagram at Hey It's Carly Ray, Twitter, Hey It's Carly Ray, Pinterest, Hey It's Carly Ray, my website, Hey It's Carly Ray .com, and then Tumblr, Hey It's Carly Ray, like everywhere. Oh, and Facebook, Hey It's Carly Ray. So definitely come check me out, hang out with me, tell me more about your current reads. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, I do weekly giveaways, which I'm thinking of doing twice a week on my Instagram. So if you guys go on there, you guys can maybe possibly be the winner of some amazing giveaways. Some are even autographed copies from the author. I hope you guys have an awesome day and enjoy today's video. Give it a thumbs up. Bye.